the menu key here always brings up the menu no matter where you are in the system. If you're already at the menu, pressing it again takes you back to the home screen. You can see that the main menu works in both portrait and landscape modes. Scrolling works the same way as it did in the messaging system. You can use your finger on the main part of the screen where you can grab the scroll bar. Both systems work pretty well. Um, scroll bar, even though it looks to be pretty narrow, seems to be pretty easy to grab, which is always handy. Go into the settings here. Let you look around at how the phone works, how the user interface works. Select once, tap the second time to change. Very normal S60 looking. Hit the back button. Personalize. Themes. show you that the tabbed interface on S60 is still alive and well. We're going into the profiles editor right here. You can see you know, all the profile settings, but up here you move from tab to tab. You can do it with your finger. It's a little bit harder because it's a small button there, but it does work. When it comes to profiles though, it's always easier just to hit the power button briefly, which brings up a list, then you can just set the profile that way. As I mentioned previously, this little button up here, touch sensitive button, brings up quick media access menu. And you see when we go back to the home screen, music's shown right here on the active standby screen. also get to images and other things quickly as well. Image viewer works in both portrait and landscape modes. can also access the web that way. Here's a quick look at the browser. You see right now we're on the Mobile Burn home page, but this is the mobile formatted version. If we go down here, tap on a link that'll take us to the full version. And this is over a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, this is a European spec 5800, so it doesn't support uh, 3G networks in the US. But you can see over Wi-Fi, it pulls up the site pretty quickly. fairly accurate rendering. This plus button down here handles the zoom controls. So you can zoom with your finger. Pan just as you would expect. Double tapping zooms intelligently too, which is always nice. One of the things I really like is the overlaid menu. It's easy for saving things like bookmark. Or subscribing to the RSS feed. Overall, the browser is pretty nice on this device. And it works well with fingers or a stylus. One thing it doesn't do, though, is it doesn't keep the previous zoom level, so you have to constantly zoom around as you switch from page to page. But overall, it's quite nice, and the large 640 by 360 pixel display really does a good job of rendering it. Of course, it supports portrait and landscape mode as well. Not the fastest in switching back and forth between the two, but nice nonetheless. 
And as you can see, Flash is supported. We've got a Flash-based ad running here. And like the prior versions of the S60 browser, it has the visual back control, except now it supports swipes.